deep ocean. Thousands of species of marine life. One woman. On a mission to study fish and conserve sharks. The one. The only. Eugenie Clark. I don't think I ever consciously wanted to be an explorer. I didn't know what an explorer was. I just knew that I wanted to study fish. Eugenie Clark was born May 4, 1922 in New York City. At the age of nine, Eugenie would go to the New York Aquarium at Battery Park every Saturday as her mom worked at a magazine stand nearby. During her days spent at the aquarium, Eugenie would learn all she could about fish, even making friends with the bums who came in on rainy days and had conversations with her about them. Eugenie recalled pressing her face against the tanks while imagining that she was swimming with the fish, especially the sharks. She was heavily inspired by William Beebe, a famed naturalist and writer. Eugenie hoped to explore the ocean like him one day. In 1942, Eugenie attended Hunter College to study zoology and received her Bachelor of Arts degree. Later, in 1946, Eugenie attended New York University where she received her Master's of Arts degree. She supported herself in school by working as a chemist for a plastics company. During her years at graduate school, Eugenie carried out research at Scripps Institute of Oceanography in La Jolla, California, Marine Museum of Natural History in New York, Marine Biological Lab in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and Lerner Marine Lab in Bimini, Bahamas. Eugenie's longest research trip was sponsored by the U.S. Office of Naval Research in 1949. They sent her to Micronesia, Guam, Marshall Islands, Palau Islands, Northern Mariana Islands, and the Caroline Islands to conduct fish population studies. In 1950, after getting her doctorate's degree, Eugenie received a scholarship to pursue ethiological studies at the Marine Biological Station in Hergata. In 1968, Eugenie joined the faculty at University of Maryland College Park. Today, she still holds the title of Senior Research Scientist and Professor Emerita of Zoology. Eugenie gave lectures to over 60 colleges and universities in the U.S. and 19 foreign countries. She even conducted summer science training programs at high school and college levels. For over 50 years, Eugenie studied the behavior, ecology, and taxonomy of fish, especially that of sharks. 40 of those years consisted of swimming with sharks. Eugenie was the first to use actual working scuba diving equipment as a means to collect data and make observations underwater. Through her work, she received numerous awards and has had five fish named in her honor. In a field dominated by men at the time, Eugenie was among the first women to get into marine biology and succeed in it exceptionally. She's said to be a pioneer in marine conservation and the study of shark behavior. Eugenie defied society's expectations about women's roles in science and lit a trail for future women who planned to join a field of science. Before she began research on sharks in the 50s, they were believed to be dumb and deadly. And obviously, after the release of Jaws and other shark attack-based movies, it sparked more fear for many. Eugenie set out to create a better reputation for them and take away from the reputation that was already there. Eugenie's work in Egypt prompted some of the world's first shark protection policies. What Eugenie did for sharks was really important because humans had a fear of what they saw and heard from the media and stories told, but didn't actually understand sharks or the statistics of death caused by them. Sharks need to be protected because they are being fished at a rate faster than they can recover. Killing off sharks will affect the entire ecosystem negatively. They also prevent prey from overgrazing vital habitats. Sharks are good indicators of ecosystem health, and they keep our oceans healthy and productive. Eugenie fits in the subject of conservation. She was extremely big on conserving marine life, most particularly sharks, and she did what she could to see that they were protected and safe. 100 to 273 million sharks are killed each year by humans for their meat and fins, so Eugenie's efforts to conserve them are very important. It's best to be educated about things before deciding to have negative feelings towards them. Forget what the media could tell you and look into it yourself. Decide for yourself if what you see or hear about is the actual enemy and spread the education so that others learn. Though not everyone can donate to organizations that help protect sharks or other fish, being educated about the animal itself is the next best thing. Also, being involved in signing petitions can help too. They don't always change things right away or at all depending on how successful they are, but it's free and the support is valuable. 
At the age of 92, after a long life of adventure doing what she loved, Eugenie died on February 25, 2015 in Sarasota, Florida. Eugenie Clark was an amazing marine biologist who was one of the first to represent women in the scientific community. She helped conserve marine life, strive to better understand and protect one of the most feared creatures of the sea, and never failed to communicate her scientific findings with the world. She has led over 200 field research expeditions and conducted 72 submersible dives. Eugenie was a great mom of four, a greater human being, and one of the greatest scientists of all time.